Yeah, Shall we talk about, about Nancy Pelosi and the new bill coming up in the House uh, will be taken up in the House just this week, whether or not the United States should make a $52 billion investment in semiconductors, because we were told mm -hmm. recently from the White House that these inflationary numbers need to be sort of picked back up by spending in big tech, right? Right. Because inflation is just a problem because you can't upgrade your iPhone has nothing to do with you not being able to buy milk or gas or anything like that. Right. It's about right? getting computer parts. Like that's the most important so, thing in the minds of Congress right now. Congress is going to take this up and, uh, you know, offer up a little money to the semiconductor industry, which is why it's interesting that Nancy Pelosi's husband purchased $5 million in stock options from NVIDIA, which is a top semiconductor company. Yeah, right? just did it on June 17th bought 20,000 shares of NVIDIA, a top semiconductor company worth between $1 million and $5 million, according to the Daily Caller. Um, this is an amazing disclosure filed by the House Speaker. So he knows that she's literally about to work on this $52 billion uh, boon to domestic semiconductor companies and give tax credits for these productions, could only do well to buoy the stock price of NVIDIA, and then her husband, who obviously you know just got a DUI in Napa Valley um, uh, a few months ago, um, yes. is now somehow got a great stock tip and is able to buy uh, twenty thousand shares just a few days ago. There he is. That is Paul Pelosi, uh, the DUI uh, guy, um, and it says you know this could have access to some insider legislative information. A government affairs lobbyist for the left wing think tank Public Citizen told the Daily Caller. This is the reason why there is a stock trading app that exclusively monitors Paul's trading activity and then followers do likewise. So people who followed Nancy Pelosi mm -hmm. and, or, and Paul's specific stock trades have been doing very well because it's remarkable. They buy these stocks and then a few weeks later they have these meetings. They have these private meetings and they have these congressional oversight they, you know, and, they, and they start to push these bills that actually benefit certain companies. Yes. Now, there is a bill moving its way through Congress that would ban Congress members from investing in anything that is not blind, right? From, in, right. from making investments such as this. It does not extend to their spouses, as far as I know. Right. So this would be okay, right? It would be less kosher if it were Nancy Pelosi herself making this trade, although that is still allowed. It would be disclosed, but it's still allowed, right? Um, and then she can go forth and vote on a bill to give companies that she's invested in a leg up. I mean, this is criminal, in my opinion. I mean, how can it's you... It's not criminal. It's allowed. Well, I know it is allowed, but it should be criminal. I well, you can call say. it... It's it's maybe immoral. You can make that argument, sure. But th these are the rules of engagement. It's unbelievable, though. Like, you have Congress, which is built by Wall Street for Wall Street at this sure. point, right? It's built by Silicon Valley for Silicon Valley. So they have these private meetings. You know, Nancy Pelosi can get on the phone with the head of Google, have a phone call. I sp you know, I spoke to this person for an hour the other day at the head of Google, the head of Microsoft, the, this and that. Oh, and then at home over dinner, I tell Paul, my husband, um, something's coming up in the next few weeks. You may want to invest in NVIDIA. You may want to buy some stock in these different companies. And they go in and do that. It's, it's unconscionable. I mean, Well, I, we don't know what they're... Dinner time conversation is like, but it does smack of privilege that the rest of us don't have. Yeah, right? I don't know. Martha Stewart went to jail for insider training. Right. Um, this sounds very similar to me. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I here's don't know the here, nuances. Here's his transaction report. I think we have Paul's transaction report. This is uh, public. Here's the White House. Uh, this is the uh, this is the transaction report. You can see it bought Apple. On the seventeenth of uh, Apple would benefit from this, right? Um, sold, uh, sold. Uh, sorry, sold fifty call options with a strike price of hundred dollars and an expiration date of six seventeen, right? So some call options there. Then also Nvidia and Visa uh, sold ten thousand shares of Visa and exercised two hundred call options, um, expiring at the price of one hundred dollars for Nvidia. Melinda makes a good point. She says it is criminal if it's in insider trading a la Martha Stewart. So right. you're right it, that that word would apply. But I mean, I guess, you know, think about a number of members of Congress, members of the Senate had to answer for questions. They got like private 
They certainly had private meetings about COVID, right, ahead of what was about to unfold. And right. made commensurate decisions about their finances that the rest of us did not have access to. Yeah, they had private meetings about what was unfolding, about what the government was going to do with the pandemic. You yeah. know, they knew ahead of time. They had these private meetings. They went and they called their, their brokers and like, sell this, get rid of this, you know, while the rest of us didn't know any of it. Right. We didn't know we didn't have access to this, this private information. And of course, and a lot of people got I think, burned. I think what's interesting is this this is a lot different than insider trading, though, because it's it's like its own category, because insider trading would be somebody on the inside of the company yes. saying, hey, we have a we have a bad report coming out. You want to sell. This is like an, another category where you've got somebody that regulates them saying, I'm going to regulate this thing. Sell now before the regulation happens, because that's not like insider with the company. It's like. It, 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 it's so bizarre. Like it's, it's, it's yeah. corrupt is what it is. Yeah. But it is yeah. insider. If the government really is in bed with big business, which is a theme that runs through our show very mm -hmm. often. Well, and, so, and, but uh, you're right. There's no rules against that in the same way as insider trading. I forget the author of the book, woke capitalism. It's a great book. You should all read it about how these companies like go woke and they, you know, they, on the one hand do woke, do woke things on the other hand, uh, what's the <laughs> doing other? woke, <laughs> we're doing woke things. But on the one hand, they, 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 you know, they're like, we support black lives matter. And while, uh, you know, the other, on the other side doing ridiculously, uh, horrible things in sweatshops in, in, in Africa, you know, it's ridiculous. Like the it's hypocrisy. Vivek right? Ramaswamy. Yeah. Vivek Ramaswamy, his book, woke capitalism, highly recommended. One of the things he talks about though, is, um, the idea that, you know, it, um, Oh, no, I can't think of it. Uh, because Oh, the relationship. He's talking about the relationship of Silicon Valley with Washington and that, you know, you might be able to say that, oh, those are separate entities. But in fact, no, they are actually part of the same thing. They are literally, if they, if they are informing laws and decisions, then they are not separate. Silicon Valley is not separate from Washington, yeah. D.C. They are part As of the same would, thing. Yes. Um, if they inform legislation, they're in meetings, driving these discussions, then they become part of the same thing. Um, and he actually talks about it as like a separation of church and state, because in, for a lot of people, it becomes like a religion. Mm -hmm. um, and so, I don't know, it's interesting. Read the book, but they are so cozy and, and in bed. And the fact that Paul Pelosi can uh, make, you know, invest one, one to $5 million uh, and, and these stocks just should we, make weeks us... before these votes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's horrible. That's horrible. Today's episode of Redacted is brought to you by our favorite trading platform, our friends over at Moomoo. That's right. You can get 10 free stocks right now, valued up to $25,000 just for opening an account and making your initial deposit. So here's how it works. When you go over to redacted.inc slash Moomoo, you will get 10 free stocks. When you deposit $100, you also get an extra stock of LCID, Lucid Stock stock and you get additional five free stocks with any deposit. So this is absolutely a game changer. You'll probably even get doubled when you get Apple stock. That's right. So when you get these stocks, you're going to get some fancy, fancy stocks, not just random, random companies, but some big ones, companies that are game changers, you know, like companies that make the iPhone. What I love about Moomoo is it's an education platform as well as a trading platform. So if you're just getting started and you don't know the first thing about investing, well, don't invest. Just open your account, get your free stocks, get your free money, and then go through their free courses. They have free courses built into their platform. So you can start learning how to day trade. You can start learning how to invest in crypto, all right there inside of the application. And then when you're ready, you can start actually doing some trades. That's right. But in the meantime, you've got all those free stocks just for signing up. They've got free level two market data, which normally other companies will charge for. They've got financial news built into the application. So you can tag and follow your favorite companies. Let's say you invest in Apple or Google or other big companies that you like. Great. You can follow that news right inside the application. It makes it very, very simple. So right now, get those 10 free stocks plus your bonus stock of LCID by going to redacted.inc slash moomoo. It's right there on your screen, redacted.inc slash moomoo. Our thanks to moomoo for supporting our show. Thank you so much for subscribing to our channel. You know, we've been banned, we've been blocked, we've been censored. That's why we started our own website to stay connected with you for free. 
That's right. So head on over to redacted.inc and make sure you're connected with us. You can sign up again at redacted.inc, not .com.